Good morning everyone. This is teacher Joanna and I will be your teacher in English. Now before we start our lesson, please get your spelling notebooks and your pencils because we are going to have a spelling today. So do you have your spelling notebooks already? Very good. How about your pencil? Okay, so let us start our spelling. So everyone, number one, ray. A ray of sunshine lit up the wall. Spell the word ray. Number two, say. What did you say? Spell the word say. Number three, way. Which way shall we go? Spell the word way. And number four, clay. The potter made mugs out of clay. Spell the word clay. And number five, pray. They will pray together 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 before they eat their dinner so spell the word pray okay so the words are number one ray number two say number three way number four clay and number five pray okay so time is up pencils up let us check your answers okay so everyone number one ray spell the word ray r-a-y ray number two say spell the word say s-a-y say number three way spell the word way w-a-y way number four clay spell the word clay c-l-a-y clay and number five pray spell the word pray p-r-a why pray okay so those are the words so who got perfect very good how about four points three two one okay very good so let's clap our hands for ourselves you did great okay so now let us proceed okay so we are going to um read some words everyone okay so are you ready okay very good so number uh the first one is bind everyone let us read bind okay next we have kind everyone let us read kind okay very good and then we have find everyone let us read find okay and next we have mind Every, everyone let us read mind okay so the words are bind kind find and mind okay so can you use bind in a sentence very good how about kind can you use kind in a sentence very good how about fine can you use find in a sentence okay how about mine can you use mine in a sentence okay very good okay so today we are going to talk about fact and opinion okay so are you familiar of fact and opinion okay very good so today we are going to talk about fact and opinion okay so i want you to know that when we say a fact a fact is a statement of truth okay it can be proven and everybody accepts its authenticity okay so what is a fact a statement of truth so when we say statement of truth what is that a fact okay so remember that a fact can be proven okay it can be proven and everybody accepts its authenticity do you understand okay very good so let me give you an example so the first example is that Jose Rizal is our national hero is Jose Rizal our national hero very good the national hero of the philippines is dr jose rizal is it a fact very good yes next we have the spaniards colonized the philippines so did the spaniards colonize the philippines yes or no very good yes so is the sentence a fact 
Okay, very good. It is true that the Spaniards colonized the Philippines. Do you understand? Okay, very good. And then, our president today is Rodrigo Duterte. Okay, so who is our president today? Okay, President Rodrigo Roa Duterte. Okay, is it a fact? Is, uh, is, the, is the statement um, states the truth? Okay, very good. Um, our president today is um, Dr. Uh, Rodrigo Duterte. Okay, President Rodrigo Duterte. That's why it's a fact. Okay. <clears throat> And then let's have opinion. When we say opinion, it is a statement that states his or her beliefs and principles. So when we say opinion, it's just a statement that states his or her beliefs and principles, but does not mean everybody believes it. Okay? Not everybody believes it if it's an opinion. So, and also remember that opinion, um, no opinion is right or wrong. Do you understand? No opinion is right or wrong. Okay, that's your opinion. It's your own belief and principle. Do you understand? Okay, so let me give you an example. So I have here, she is a stubborn kid. So your opinion um, for her is that she is a stubborn kid. But other people might say, na, uh, might say it's, um, it's wrong, but it's just your opinion. Do you understand? Okay, it's their opinion um, and it's your opinion about that kid. Do you understand me? And then, the, um, to be a hero, one has to give up one's life or for his or her country for someone. So, is it, um, it's their opinion. Okay, so it's an, it's an opinion. In today's generation, you don't have to uh, um, take, you don't have to give up your life. Okay, remember that OFWs are the um, new heroes of this generation. Did they give up their lives? No. Do you understand me? Okay, so again, the difference between a fact and an opinion is that fact states the truth. Everybody believes it. Okay, well, opinion, it's not wrong or it's not right, but it states your belief, belief or Principle. Do you understand me? Okay, very good. So I have your question. What is a fact, everyone? A fact is um, a statement that states the truth and everybody believes its authenticity. Okay, and when we say opinion, this statement states your belief or principle. Okay, no opinion is right or wrong. Okay, so what did you learn today? Today, we have learned about fact and opinion. When we say fact, this statement states the truth, okay? It can be proven and everybody believes its authenticity. But when we say opinion, this statement states your belief or principle in life. So, no opinion is right or wrong. So, if you really did understand the lesson, then let us proceed to your practice exercise. We're in... You are going to answer activity B, page 246. And here is your evaluation. Answer activity C, page 246. Okay? So don't forget to answer your practice exercise and your evaluation because I am going to check it. Do you understand me? Okay, so here is your assignment. What is fact and opinion? So don't forget to do your assignment. Okay, so thank you for listening. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.